Ladies and gentlemen from the Portes Nation, I'm here with uh, Mr. Johnson, Daryl Johnson, uh, head of football operations of the Uf UFL. Uh, first of all, thank you for being here uh, with us, having given us these words. Uh, th something exciting is coming up, you know, the union of this, uh, the two leagues. What can you tell me about it? What makes this league so special now? Well, I think the biggest thing is, is uh, we've seen for a number of years now um, the spring football concept trying to be established in our country. And for various reasons, it hasn't been able to have the sustainability. So for the USFL to have finished its second season and crowned its second champion last year, to have both the USFL and the XFL uh, in the same year finish the regular season, crown a champion, I think shows that there's an appetite out there, there's an interest from the fans. Uh, before we get into all the other things in regards to players and opportunities, the biggest thing that we've got to be able to do is have an interest. And, and whether that's from a television standpoint or ticket sales, you know, that has to be one of the big things that we have moving forward. So I think we both demonstrated that uh, last season. So it, it made sense. It's been hard for one league to be able to make in the spring. Um, it's going to be really challenging for two leagues to make it in the spring. So why not come together, um, create the best of what's been provided in spring football in the last 30, 40 years, and see where this takes us on this journey. So uh, I think it, it was smart to do it. I think it gives us the best opportunity for sustainability, uh, and we've got a lot of good people involved. And, and our rosters got deeper, our staffs got better. Um, so there was just, uh, it, it, it made a lot of sense. It was not very many negatives you could find. Today we had a great event, or you guys had a great event with the fans, with the Houston Roughneck fans, and they seem excited. They seem connect with the team, mm -hmm. with the league. Uh, what's your message for them now that you know they, they get to have, I'll call it a one-on-one -on -one between the team, the league, and the fans? Yeah, the big thing for us is uh, in the USFL is Houston was one of our franchises that never got to play in front of their home market. Um, in year one, we were all together in Birmingham. Birmingham was the only team that got that hometown feel. Uh, last year, Houston was in the Memphis market, so they didn't get the support from the Memphis fan base. So I'm really excited for Curtis Johnson and his staff and his players to be able to come here to Rice Stadium and finally get that hometown feel uh, and, and really have the true football experience on game day. So uh, we're, we're still working it. How do we connect into the local markets with our guys only being here on game day? Um, you know, spending, you know, 24, 36 hours in the home market as opposed to the entire week. So there's some things that we still have to get better at. But we do have a presence here with, with a lot of the people that are on the business side. Um, and, and we'll get creative. We know how important it is to establish that connection. And for me, one of the biggest takeaways that I'm going to have walking away from the event tonight is that is the number one thing. We have to create a connection. That's one of the things that I heard loud and clear tonight was how do we establish that connection um, how do we have access to the players? We want to support you, but we also want to be vested in it. So that is definitely something that I'm going to be bringing back to everybody. Coming to game day, speaking on you know opening game, could be uh, game day, week one. Uh, what what the fans could experience if you could, we have like some words from it. Uh, what what could they experience from the league as an as an uh, for as an environment or how what what can they expect from game day? Well, I, I think that's up to the fans, right? You know, we're going to put a good football product out on the field. Uh, the game day experience is going to be based on what this market does. And that's been one of the great things in spring football is to watch how each market has came up with their unique way of, of making game day special and, and, and unique in their market. Um, whether it's, you know, what, what Washington does with the beer snake at Audi Field. Uh, we had the Yacht Club in Memphis. Uh, we all know how big the crowds are in St. Louis. We're excited for, for our teams to be able to go into that kind of environment. Um, you get an opportunity to play at Ford Field uh, in Michigan. So th there's, there's great stuff on game day, but it, it really comes down to what does the local market want to make that experience? And, and we heard here tonight you know, from everybody that they, they find a, an element to the UFL that they don't see in the NFL. And that was, that, that was meaningful to us to really kind of hear that. So we understand how important that connection is. We understand... Uh, you know, the access that they're looking for, whether that is, you know, game day, pregame, you know, how do we, how do we manage that um, and, and be able to provide that? So there's, there's a lot of really positive things to take away from tonight's uh, event. Before, before we let you go, Mr. Johnson, uh, talking about the football aspects, uh, a lot of people are talking, what people are talking, it's the rules. Are they going to keep the same rules uh, with the XFL? What are the changes that we're going to have here? It's a merger, so there's a little bit of XFL, there's a little bit of USFL. There's not 
it's not one league coming in and following the rules of one or the other. So we try to take the best practices, and I think the rule book is probably one of the better examples of how we did that. Um, the USFL is going to is going to be the driver on the kickoffs. The kickoff will look more like ours than it did the XFL. The PAT will be the XFL. Um, we're going to ask the receivers to get two feet in bounds. We don't want our players practicing something um, that they they have to do it in the NFL. So why not do it here? So uh, th there are some tweaks, there are some different things, but it was really kind of looking at everything and what is what is best practices, what makes this an exciting game that people want to watch, what keeps us inside the three-hour window. Um, you know, that's another big thing. So th there's a lot of different things, but it's it's never been one-sided. Everything we've tried to do through this entire merger has been to blend best practices. It's not been one side over the other. Perfect. Lastly, a, a message you want to say to the Houston Roughnecks fans here? Today? Oh, I just... I can't wait to see Curtis get his first opportunity to have a hometown fan base behind him. Um, he will put out a very consistent, that was the one where we heard from Curtis tonight, it's going to be a consistent brand of football that's centered around the offensive and defensive line. He wants to control the trenches. It's going to be physical. Uh, he's going to run the ball, and then when everybody kind of creeps up to, to stop the run, he's going to throw the ball over the top. So he was very open. He is not afraid to share what he's going to do. He is very, he's very confident in what he's going to put together here for your fan base. Uh, and and I, I am really, really excited for Houston to finally have an opportunity to play in front of their hometown fans. Well, you hear it, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Darrell Johnson. Thank you, Darrell. You're welcome. Yep.